Hey, how are you doing? Heard you had a little accident. Yeah, my nurses were saying that your partner practically had to drag you through the front door, so I'm guessing you don't like doctors very much, is that right? Okay, well, tell you what, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this a comfortable experience, gonna get you in and out of here. I don't want to do anything that you don't want me to do, but based on what I heard about the accident, it sounds like you are very lucky to be looking as good as you are. So, uh, let's at least take a look at, um, some of your neurological responses. I know you got a pretty good bop on the head there and then heard something pretty nasty happen to your arm too. It looks okay from here, but I really feel like I should take a closer look at it. All right. Okay. So gonna be careful. I'm gonna be gentle. I'm gonna do everything I can to get you back out the door and get you fixed up so well that hopefully it'll be a long, long time before you have to come back to a doctor again, okay? All right, so let me grab something. All right, just do me a favor and take a look right here at my nose. I'm gonna be shining a light in your eyes one at a time, right here. Just checking your pupillary response. There we go. All right, now take a look at the light and follow it. Good. Not so bad so far, right? <laughs> and your eyes are looking pretty good. No evidence of any major brain trauma so far. There we go. Good. Okay. Can you follow my finger? Mm-hmm. Keep following the finger. And perfect. So all right, what I'd like to do now is just kind of gently touch and palpate your head. I want to make sure that there's no obvious major injury going on there. I'm gonna be feeling for lumps, bumps. Nothing too scary, okay? It's all right if I touch your head? Okay, coming in. Here it comes. I'm just place my hands right here and kind of gently feel around. How's that feel? Okay. You make sure to let me know if anything hurts, feels unpleasant, or if you just need a break for any reason, okay? Just sort of head, da, 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 da. along here. Okay. Got my hand on the side of your head here. I'm gonna kind of gently squeeze, squeeze. How's that feel? Okay. Over here, I'm gonna squeeze. How's that feel? Okay. Kind of reaching around the back here. Gently palpating. Feeling any lumps or bumps? No lacerations. No swelling. And look at that, no blood on my hands. <laughs> so, looks like your head's in pretty good shape. Let's take a look at that arm. From what I heard, it sounds like this is something that might need stitches, if that's the case. I promise you, I'm so good with these. Um, it's gonna be over fast, 
it can we can use uh, something that will be like a numbing topical to reduce the amount of pain it's it's gonna be hard okay so if you'll just uh, give me your arm <laughs> okay I can see that you are very hesitant to let me look at your arm you got it all wrapped up there um, I totally get where you're coming from I know Lots of people have bad experiences with doctors. I just, I'm really concerned based on what I heard that that could need stitches or that it could get infected. So if you'll just let me take a really quick, gentle look at it. I get it. Really, I do. I, I see how hesitant you are. <laughs> really, really want to do everything I can to make this easy for you, so can you just... I promise, you can trust me. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, let me just get these gloves on. I'm going to wrap that up with a towel. Wow. Doesn't look like it's bled through, so that's promising. Let's go ahead and unwrap that towel and oh, <laughs> look at that, it's barely bleeding at all. Wow. The... Is that? How long have you known? Have you always... <sighs> oh. oh, okay. Um, okay, I totally get why you're freaking out here. Um, and, uh, like I said, you can trust me, you can totally trust me. Um, give me one second to pull myself together. I'm going to lock the door real quick just to make sure that no one walks in and interrupts me. Um, one sec. Okay. We're alone. We're safe. No one is going to interrupt us. I can only imagine what you must be feeling right now, so I just... I want to assure you that your secret is totally safe with me, okay? I have... I mean, I've heard, of, but I just... Listen, um, I'm going to get you fixed up in a way that's going to let you get out of here and back to your partner as privately as possible, as if, uh, as if nothing had happened. Um, or I mean, as if nothing, like, unusual had happened. Um, if it's not too much of an imposition, can I just... Can I give you, like, a quick exam? Nothing invasive. I'd just be really curious. <laughs> I'm sorry, this sounds so weird. Uh, I would just be so interested and so grateful if I could take a closer look at you. And, and I don't know what you've got going on. I'm, I'm guessing that because you came here, you don't have any other secret medical professional out there who helps you out with these things, so maybe if this kind of thing ever happens again, knowing you have someone you could come to would would be a good thing. Yeah? You don't you don't have to decide now. It's it's fine, and if you say no, that's totally fine too. No hard feelings. Um I just I just think it would be so cool to look at you just a little bit. And, and then, like I said, it 
give me a baseline. So if you ever need to get checked out again or, you know, if you just want to kind of allay other people's suspicions by doing regular doctor's visits like a regular human being, then, uh, then you could come to me. We could just hang out for a little bit. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Cool. Alright, let me grab my stuff. And now that I know, I'd love to do a slightly more thorough eye exam if that's alright. Okay, just hang in there. <laughs> okay. Look at my notes, please. Sorry, I'll try to... Okay, I'm good. Look my notes. Can I take a closer look at that? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is just... Just a little different. I don't... I don't think I ever would have noticed if I wasn't looking for it. Look my notes. If you didn't already know this, you might want to avoid the optometrist. I suspect you're not having any vision problems, but all the same, it might be good to know that they probably would notice. They look pretty closely. Follow the light. Good. Oh, good. Yeah. Can you follow my finger? Curious to see what your baseline temperature is. I'm gonna put this in your ear, all right? All right. Can I try on the other side, just out of curiosity? Has anyone ever taken your blood pressure before? I'd be really interested to see what happens if that's okay. Okay, if I roll your sleeve up, I'm just gonna come around the side here and... Let me grab my stethoscope. Okay, I'm just gonna gently but firmly wrap this cuff right around your arm here. <laughs> there. How's that feel? Okay. Now you're gonna feel some pressure in your arm as I inflate the cuff. Letting the air out of the cuff. <sighs> wow. Alright, let's take the cuff off. See what it's like on the other side. Again, just 
wrapping the cuff around your arm. I'm going to be extra careful on this side. Let me grab my stethoscope and take a quick listen to your heart from the back. It'll be quick. All right, I'm just going to lift up the back of your shirt here so I can get the stethoscope right up against your um, skin. And it's probably going to feel a little on the cool side. I have no idea if that kind of thing bothers you or not, but here we go. Could you take a deep breath in for me? Hold and let it out. Okay. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Just out of curiosity, I was really curious what it might look like if I took a peek inside your ear. Both sides, if that's alright. Okay. Alright, you're gonna feel a tip of the otoscope just gently entering your ear canal. Removing the otoscope. 
You are so good to humor me, and I am so thankful. Um, tell you what, I've poked and prodded at you enough. Um, let's wrap that arm up like, uh, like we would have for anyone else. Um, I'm gonna just put some kind of heavy gauze over it and tape it down, and, uh, I don't know, do whatever you need to do with it, but that'll you know, uh, look the way it's supposed to. If anyone has any curiosity about your injury, that should be a nice, you know, cover for it. Is that all right? Okay, it's a plan. All right. I'm not gonna mess around with any antiseptic ointments or antibiotics or anything like that, cause I I just have no idea how it would react with your uh, biology, so let's just skip straight ahead to some nice thick gauze pads here. I'm gonna tape it right on your arm, let's see. Okay, please let me know if anything hurts or feels uncomfortable here. I'm mostly going to proceed like I normally would, but you, you know how you work, so please let me know if there's anything I, I need to know. Placing it over your arm. I want to make sure it's big enough to go in the hold. And then some. Sides. Pressing it on. Okay. I like to kind of pat down the corners here. Just pat, 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 pat. Okay. And again. Just one more. Alright, I think you're in good shape to head back out there, okay? Um, just think about what I said, okay? I am going to include my 
personal cell phone number on your discharge papers. Um, if anyone asks why I gave it to you, just, uh, I don't know, you, you seem really smart, and uh, I'm sure you've had to come up with a lot of creative explanations over the years, so um, just say whatever you want. Um, if you need medical attention or a doctor for any reason, call me. Seriously, I'll, I'll be there for you, okay? I had always kind of wondered if... Just thank you. Thank you for letting me examine you and for trusting me. I really appreciate it. Okay. You take care of yourself and... Um, I guess I can't say. Hope I don't see you again soon because... I'm being super awkward, I know. Um, take care. I'm here for you if you need me.